Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more WW2K14 Universe Mode. My name is Brendan Plays. It is great to be back here with you guys once again. This is the final roll before the Extreme Rules pay-per-view, and we are going to kick it off with our WWE Champion. This is Randy Orton, the man who defeated Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 30 to win the WWE Championship. And now he's back to try and do it again at Extreme Rules, this time in a 2 out of 3 falls match. But of course, no disqualification as well. So anything goes in that match. It's going to be bloody. It'll be brutal because these two men simply do not like each other. Randy Orton, a former member of the Authority. And he did turn his back on the Authority in hopes to win the championship gold from their champion, Brock Lesnar, which he did so successfully. And we'll find out Extreme Rules if Randy Orton can defeat Brock Lesnar for the second time and perhaps put the Authority to an end. And uh, Extreme Rules is not very far away. Only one more episode of Universe Mode to go, plus a couple of baby promos here and there. And we will be at Extreme Rules, so not too far away. So let's go ahead and see what the champ has to say. It was vengeance last year, the night that this company changed for good. The night where Brock Lesnar officially returned to the WWE it was the night that the authority took over this company. It was also the night that I left this company up until Survivor Series where the authority brought me back for one reason and one reason only and that was to take down The Rock which is what I did over the past number of months. What Triple H seems to be forgetting is that I never signed with the authority to take down and manipulate and destroy every person that comes in my way. I didn't sign up for that. I signed up to take down The Rock, get my vengeance which is what I did. But I didn't sign up to be the general manager. I didn't sign up to sit at home and collect a paycheck. I signed up to be the WWE or the World Heavyweight Champion. And now, I thought I was going to go to SmackDown. I thought I was going to be the World Heavyweight Champion. And I thought the authority was going to have two champions ruling and reigning over this company. But that's not what Triple H wanted. That's not what Brock Lesnar wanted. That's not what Paul Heyman wanted. They wanted one man to be on the top. And that was Brock Lesnar because they knew as soon as I came back into the title picture that I could beat Brock Lesnar. They knew that if I went to SmackDown and became the World Heavyweight Champion that I would overshadow their guy. I would overshadow Brock Lesnar. SmackDown would be the show to watch. Which is why Triple H refused to let me be in that ring. Which is why he took on The Rock instead of me because he wanted all the glory. He wanted all the recognition, he wanted all the praise for beating The Rock, not me. He didn't want me to have any success, any recognition whatsoever. But now, at WrestleMania, I beat your guy Triple H, and at Extreme Rules, I'm gonna do it again. I have proven to everybody that I am the champion, that I can beat anybody there is. Brock Lesnar defeated all the top guys on Raw in the past year, and you know what I did? The first opportunity, the first chance I got, I beat Brock. And now the second chance I get, I'm going to do it again. And Triple H, if you want to come step in this ring with me and try and stop me, then be my guest, because I'll beat your ass too. At WrestleMania, it was the beginning of the end for the authority. Now at Extreme Rules, I add another nail to that coffin. Well, the champion Randy Orton is fired up before his match against Brock Lesnar at Extreme Rules. In this episode, we will find out the final card for Extreme Rules. I have announced a couple of matches already that weren't announced in the videos on my forums. That is that the Divas Championship will be defended. It'll be the, the champion Naomi defending against uh, Oksana. We'll get into that in a moment. But uh, here's the number one contenders match for the tag team titles. It'll be Chris Jericho and Christian. They're going to face off against the red hot tag team of Tyson Kidd and Justin Gabriel. International Airstruck. That'll be a damn good match. We'll play that one this week, so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens there. Oksana will face Nikki Bella. And Brie Bella will be in Nikki's corner. So, Oksana looking to build some momentum before her match at Extreme Rules. The Shield will face off against the Dust Brothers, the Rhodes Brothers, whatever the hell you want to call them. It'll be Stardust and Goldust in action. We're going to have a Fatal 4-Way match. Del Rio will face off against Sheamus, Kane, and Rob Van Dam. So... As well as that, we'll have the US title number one contendership match, Cesaro versus Ziggler. Ziggler has been looking good, Cesaro has been looking good too. We'll find out who is the better out of the two tonight. And Daniel Bryan will face off against Randy Orton one-on-one. -on -one. Bryan looking to make a statement, trying to get himself in the title picture. Can he beat Orton tonight? We'll see. So, 
Oksana defeats Nikki Bella. The Shield versus Stardust Gold Dust. The Shield, they win, so they've got momentum heading in towards Extreme Rules. Fatal 4-Way match. It is Kane. Well, there you go. Kane has looked good. A bit patchy, but looked good. And Daniel Bryan. Well, a lot, of, a lot of you say that Daniel Bryan deserves an opportunity for the championship. Well, I guess he just proved to everyone right there that he does, because he just got a big victory over the champ. So will that derail Randy Orton's momentum a little bit? Perhaps. But uh, we'll have to wait and see how exactly he goes at Extreme Rules. Daniel Bryan will not be on the card, unfortunately, even though a victory over Randy Orton uh, doesn't really mean anything for Extreme Rules. But for the next pay-per-view, which uh, I'm not exactly sure what the next pay-per-view is going to be, uh, maybe I should put a poll up what you guys want to see at the next pay-per-view. I've had a few ideas. A lot of you guys have been asking me that I should try a few different things. Obviously, Over the Limit is the pay-per-view, but... Um, we haven't seen Over Limit since, since what, like 2012, so do we really want to do Over Limit? Probably not really, so I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but if you guys want to see Over the Limit, let me know. But if you want to see a different pay-per-view, uh, write that in the comment section down below. If you want to see Payback, I guess we can do it. I think the game has no way out as well, but we haven't seen No Way, no way Out for a, a little bit either. So it's interesting. I don't really want to do custom pay-per-views. I kind of was set out not to do that, but yeah, we might have to, so I don't know, it is what it is, but uh, if there's enough interest, if there's if there's enough different ideas, I will put a poll up, and I'll let you know in the next video for what pay-per-view we're going to do next, so we have Christian and Chris Jericho coming out, they're going to face off against this team International Astro, boy having this team really been uh, the underdogs right now, the flight flew under the radar They've got a big victory over the tag team champions, and they've just went from there. I've been surprised from them. I really wasn't expecting much from them coming over from SmackDown. And uh, I'll tell you what, they've made a huge impact, and they're looking to uh, continue their momentum heading in towards Extreme Rules. If they can beat Christian and Chris Jericho, which I tell you what, it's going to be a tough task, they will face the Shield for the tag team championships at Extreme Rules. So the Shield, they've still looked pretty good. But I feel as though they could be a little vulnerable and, uh, and underestimate a team like International Airstrike a little bit. So that could work in their favor if they manage to beat Christian and Jericho here tonight in this matchup. So we have Christian and Chris Jericho, which decided to team up uh, the, a week after the draft. And, uh, well, you know, they had a rough start, but uh, ever since they've looked pretty good. So I feel as though Christian and Chris Jericho... If they can win here tonight, I think they're going to be a legitimate threat towards the Shields Tag Team Championships. I mean, you got two superstars, you know, Chris Jericho, former world champion, Christian, former world champion as well. So you got two great, great names in one tag team. Very experienced veterans. Obviously, in universe mode, haven't really achieved anything, haven't really done a lot. And Chris Jericho has been on the decline. Christian has had his moments, but in recent times been on the decline as well. So both of them coming together could just be, be the, the solution to all their problems. So we'll have to wait and see at Extreme Rules how they fare. Of course, if they cross, they, they do win tonight. So um, we have uh, well, Tyson Kidd was trying to do some double team work on Chris Jericho just then. He's doing it again now. Gable's going to take the most of it. He takes advantage of it. And down goes Chris Jericho. So... So last episode, I talked about putting up a poll on my website to determine what the stipulation will be for the Fatal 4-Way match for the World Heavyweight Championship at Extreme Rules. So I, of course, I went ahead and did that after the video, and it had an astounding 250 votes on it. I was not expecting that. I was probably expecting maybe 50, something like that. I think it had, you know, over 100 votes in just a matter of hours. So it was really, really good response from you guys. And it seems as though the winning... The winning vote was the ladder match, 48%, which I was not actually really expecting. I'm quite, quite surprised that the ladder match won. But I think it's going to be a good pick. We haven't seen a ladder match in universe mode, I believe, since TLC. So it's been a while. So I'm all for it. And if you guys want to see it, well, that's exactly what you're going to see. So 48% of you guys said ladder match. I think it might have been, you know, 20-odd percent extreme rules and whatever, whatever. So I didn't actually put a hell of a lot of picks up there because... It wasn't really a lot that we can really choose from, so it was only going to be Hell in a Cell. We just saw a Hell in a Cell match. TLC, well, it's either going to be ladder or TLC. Man, I think we haven't seen ladder for a bit, so I thought ladder would be a better choice. So 
there wasn't really a lot of choices to really pick from that we haven't seen, but uh, I think uh, a ladder match will work out pretty well. So I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be for Extreme Rules, of course. So that is set in stone. So the World Heavyweight Championship match, Fatal 4-Way Ladder Match. So that should be good. And of course, we just found, we're going to find out right now who uh, who will uh, face off against the Shield. And then, of course, later on after this match, we're going to find out who will face Big E at Extreme Rules. So... After this episode, we should have the full card set in stone. And as I said earlier, Oksana will face Naomi one-on-one -on -one in an Extreme Rules match for the Divas Championship. So there will be two Extreme Rules matches on the card. One for the Intercontinental Championship and now one for the Divas Championship. And of course, the other tag team match, the World Tag Team Championship match, that match will be a steel cage match. And uh, I can confirm now that the winning team will face the shield in the at extreme rules in a elimination table tornado tag team match for the championship gold so will it be international airstrike or jericho and christian now i also want to put it to you guys what should we name jericho and christian what should their tag team team name be i think a lot of you guys are saying team canada or whatever i i know these guys teamed up back in the day was that their name i i really don't know was that their name back in the day i I don't know, so if that's the name that you guys want me to go with, Team Canada, we can do that. Or if you come up with another pretty cool name, something new, something exciting, I'll uh, perhaps change the name to that. So like we've done many, many times, we will put it to you guys. Let's get a new name for Christian and Chris Jericho. Should we keep Team Canada or should we try a new name? I'll pick out some of the best tag team names and then... Well, it seems as though polls are the flavor of the month, so we'll put up another poll on the website. So we'll see what you guys come up with. We don't have to come up with anything set in stone right now. We're, we can uh, find out a bit later on, but uh, just kind of have some have a bit of a think. Think of some ideas that you want to have uh, this team, team called. So uh, put it to the test. I cannot come up with any names to save myself. I creatively suck with names, um, I, ideas. I really suck with... You know, those kinds of things. So, that's where I get you guys to come and help me. And you guys have come up with some pretty good names in the past. So, um, some pretty bad ones too, I will admit. But, uh, you know, every now and then, I do find a good name that I kind of like and kind of go with. I know a lot of you guys probably disagree with some of the names I pick. But, uh, you know, you kind of just see a name and you go, that's the one. So, it kind of happened with Punjabi Cobra. I saw that and said, that's the one. And uh, we had a bit of trouble with Truth and Consequences trying to find a name for that. But I think we found a pretty good one in the end. So I think this might be the third time that I've put it to you guys to help me name a team. So let's see what you guys come up with. We'll give you a couple of weeks and we'll see how we go. So, And uh, updating the Slammy Awards as well. I know you guys have been pestering me. Still, even though I addressed it last video, uh, I haven't actually worked on it since. But uh, I will probably do it. I'm still kind of thinking about it but I uh, will I will get it done eventually so um, you guys probably already know the results because you voted on the website on the forums anyways but I think it'll be pretty cool just to see it all in video format and plus the idea I've got it will be a bit of a flashback from all the great memories that we've had over the past year of universe mode so it'll be a pretty cool video kind of a, a cool video to sum up the whole year that was so that's certainly in the works and uh, of course extreme rules coming up soon so exciting times for you guys for universe mode so um i'm looking to try to get to money in the bank if not SummerSlam, before the end of uh before 2k15 comes out so if we don't really get there or if we're getting close expect to see a lot more universe mode expect me to kind of amp it up a little bit and kind of put a few more up um I have a lot of other series I want to do as well, but it's just kind of a bad time, really. I don't know. I just got no time to really put up other series that I can do because I just want to have Universe Mode as the main focus, so I don't want to have too much going on, so I, I can't really fit in the Universe Mode episodes that I want to get up. So, um, of course, other series will take the back burner, like the NBA and I like the GMOs. The other GMOs really take the back burner as well, but... Uh, um, certainly got a lot of good things in store for you guys for Universe Mode, and it's going to be a lot of good content coming before 2K15. And once 2K15 drops, man, if it's anything like I hope it's going to be, as Christian hits a kill switch, by the way, uh, I tell you what, exciting times for Universe Mode. Tyson Kidd is out. 
Christian hits the kill switch. J Gabriel's outside the ring. We have a pin attempt. Gabriel, oh, it didn't matter. Tyson Kidd kicked out. Christian took a little bit of time there to look for the pinfall. So he's uh, throwing Gabriel, uh, throwing Kidd back in the corner. Gabriel's back on the apron. So Christian in firm control here as Christian and Jericho looking to get their first opportunity at Tag Team Gold. Likewise for International Airstrike is another pinfall attempt. Gabriel should break that one up. He does. So two teams that are looking just to get an opportunity and obviously International Airstrike, a team we weren't expecting to really do or make much of an impact, but they certainly have. A bit similar to the R-Truth and uh, Xavier Woods situation though. Um, truth and Consequences, you know, a team that we really weren't expecting too much from, but certainly come up and rose to the occasion, as well as probably Punjabi Cobra as well. But, likewise with those two teams, you know, we didn't see any kind of results. They didn't end up winning the titles. So, will we see the same thing from International, International Airstrike? Well, we'll have to get there first, as uh, Christian has a submission attempt. It wasn't successful as Kid broke it up. Jericho in the ring now, working down on Tyson Kid. Gabriel in the middle of the ring with Christian, a knee to the skull, follows it up with a kick to the midsection, hang on, pin attempt, roll up, one, two, three, that is it, and the roll up is good enough, Jericho had Kid distracted ringside, and that is enough to put Justin Gabriel away, Christian has won the match for his new team, so forget about Edge and Christian, it is now all about Jericho, and Christian as they will face the shield for the WWE Tag Team Championships at Extreme Rules. Of course that match Elimination Table Tornado Tag Team Match. Don't miss it. And uh, I will put up a thread on my website on the forums as well as that a page on the website as well where you guys can go and have a look and have a full list of the match cards. So if you're not sure what exactly what's going on it, it will all be there, so you'll be able to find out and see for yourself who's going to be facing who at uh, the pay-per-views. So, full match card there on the website, BrandonPlays.com. As it's time for our next matchup, we're going to find out who will face Big E at Extreme Rules. This is the final match on Raw tonight. Cesaro will face off against Dolph Ziggler. Now, Cesaro and Ziggler both coming from SmackDown, looking to make an impact. Cesaro getting oh so close to getting himself a World Heavyweight Championship opportunity, just missing out. Cesaro is a former United States Champion, so he knows what it takes to be the US Champion, whereas Dolph Ziggler is titleless here in Universe Mode. So, is this the chance that Dolph Ziggler needs to turn it all around? Well, of course, he did face Big E a couple of weeks ago, and he hit Big E with everything he had. Still wasn't good enough to get the win, but... He's had a couple of big wins since. He's beaten Kane a couple of times now. So he overtook Kane in the, in the rankings. Now he's looking to do the same with Cesaro, who has also looked pretty good in recent times as well. Of course, winning a triple threat match against Sheamus and Del Rio. I believe that was last week on Raw. So Cesaro's looking good. Ziggler's looking good. What better way to settle the differences in a match one-on-one, -on -one, winner faces Big E. So here we go. Ziggler with a knee to the, the side, to the midsection of Cesaro to kick this one off. As uh, these two guys both need this victory. Both need to get themselves in title contention. And uh, it's been a while since Cesaro has really seen a lot of success and had much success. You know, he went from being the US champion to floating around, going into the tag team division, betraying his partner, then going back and trying to contend for the world title. Missed out. And now he's kind of been floating around again. So the move from SmackDown to Raw could be a good one for Cesaro and a good chance for him to turn it all around. And if he can beat Ziggler tonight, I think he could beat Big E. So we'll have to wait and see how exactly that all pans out. So Cesaro does take down Ziggler to kick it off. And, um, you know, obviously Ziggler had the opportunity against Big E a couple of weeks ago. And like I said, he, you know, he gave everything he had in that match. But Big E was just too big, too powerful, too strong. And no matter what Ziggler threw at Big E, he just kept on kicking out and kicking out and kicking out. So if Ziggler does win this match, he's going to have to step up to a whole new level to try and take down Big E Langston at Extreme Rules for that United States Championship. As Cesaro goes down face first into the mat once again, Ziggler continues up 
with a couple strikes and then plants him back down the mat once again. So these are two men that are vying, they're fighting, they want this opportunity so badly. And Ziggler, you know, he said a couple, he said not long ago, you know, look, I know I've had a bad run, but this is my opportunity to turn around. So can he put his money where his mouth is by taking down Cesaro here? And obviously he beat Kane, so that's a pretty good victory. And obviously we saw Kane win Fatal 4-Way tonight. So one of the, the big contenders for the US title, uh, Ziggler was able to beat him not once but twice. He beat him in six-man tag team action as well. So Ziggler certainly looking the goods. And um, speaking, uh, I was going to mention fantasy. We still need some spots. We still need some guys to come in and join the fantasy. It just popped in my mind. Real world, real world fantasy. I know I have a universe mode fantasy. We're not taking any spots for that just yet. That will happen when 2K15 drops. But we still have some spots available for the real world fantasy. So the real WWE that you watch, uh, we get points. We, we grade the superstars from winning and losing, etc., etc. Just like fantasy football. We need some spots to be filled. I think there's two, three, maybe even four spots available. So if you haven't already joined up, now's your chance. The link to that will be in the description down below. I really want you guys to get on that. This fantasy is a lot of fun, and it's uh, going to be run by a good friend, Bailey, on the forums. So make sure you get involved. So get involved in the Brendan Plays community. It's fun. It's it's exciting, and it really kind of adds a whole new level in watching WWE. So if you kind of get bored of WWE, fantasy is a good way to keep you interested. Anyways, back to the match now as we have Ziggler. Oh, takes down Cesaro with the famous sir. That could be enough to put Cesaro away, actually. Here we go with him. Is he going to get the pinfall? Yes, he does. Turns him over. One. No, Cesaro kicks out of one. Not enough. He goes for another roll-up, though. Rope break. As uh, Ziggler, what's he going to try here? Oh, zigzag. Zigzag. Down goes Cesaro. Ziggler's going to face Big E. Yes, he will. Three count. That is enough to put Cesaro away in quick fashion. Ziggler making a statement to Big E tonight that he's going to face him at Extreme Rules and he's coming for that US title. A big victory over Cesaro here on Raw. So Cesaro coming oh so close once again failing to do the goods. So Ziggler has delivered tonight and he's looking to win his first championship gold here on Universe Mode. Will he be able to do it? We'll find out at Extreme Rules. Ladies and gentlemen, that will do it from me from today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you go ahead and do everything I told you to do in this video. Fantasy, give us a name for Christian and Jericho. Pay-per-view suggestions for the next pay-per-view. There's a lot to get through, but uh, I would love for you guys to leave your suggestions down below. So thanks guys for watching. Remember, remember to leave a like and subscribe as well. See you next video.